With the derivative formally uh, defined as a limit of a difference quotient, we can actually use that limit of a difference quotient to uh, justify some of these, uh, what we're going to call basic derivative rules or even shortcut rules. Um, what we have here is a starting place. Um, that starting place is uh, the derivative of a of a of one really it extends to any constant but um, the derivative of one would be simply a zero and now think about that uh, the the line y equals one is a horizontal line now horizontal lines have slope zero so derivative um, of one is equal to zero should make sense uh, the next thing we have is a power rule. So now the power rule is uh, the derivative of something that is of the form x to the k. Now k here is just any non-zero real number. Um, but what we do to take this derivative is we bring down the power k and we um, we have the x as still that base, but this time the exponent is uh, decreased by 1. So we have k times x to the k minus 1, and that would be our power rule. Uh, the next rule we would have would be the constant multiple rule. And what that is telling us is if we have um, any function that is a constant multiple of some other function. So what we're going to write is k times f of x. So we see that constant k that's out front multiplied by some other function. Anytime we want to take the derivative of that, we could actually pull that constant out front and simply take the derivative of the function. So the constant multiple rule says any constants that are out front, we just basically leave there and move on to um, what's sitting next to it. Um, and that's really why um, we have, you know, we have as our starting place just the derivative of 1 is 0, but that extends to the derivative of any constant is 0 simply by the constant multiple rule. Okay. Uh, the next thing we have is uh, what I'm calling sum slash difference rule. Because really with the constant multiple rule, addition and subtract subtraction um, behave the same way. Because uh, if we had subtraction, we could make it addition instead by saying plus a negative 1 times something. And so really sums and differences act the same way. So what we have is if we want the derivative of either a sum or a difference, and I'm going to just uh, kind of simplify our notation and let it be some block function a plus or minus some block function b. What we end up doing is we just take the derivative of each term um, just term by term. So we would take the derivative of the first term a and then to it we would either add or subtract depending on which sign is sitting there um, and we would just take the derivative of the next term b. So when we're taking the derivatives of sums or differences that's just taken term by term. But we get into a slightly more complicated situation when we're talking about a product or a quotient and I'm going to um, handle these two separately. So we've got product rule And the product rule would be, uh, we want the derivative, so ddx, of two things that are multiplied. So I'm going to, again, just kind of simplify our notation by saying some block a times some block b. Well, the uh, product rule says what we do is we take the derivative of the first one, so derivative of a, and to it we multiply by just simply the b. So we're only taking the derivative of the first factor, and and then we multiply it by the second factor. But then that's not all. To it, we add, this time, uh, the other order of things. We are multiplying uh, the derivative of that second factor by simply the first factor. And I wrote it so that the a and the b maintain in the same um, order, but of course with commutative property of uh, addition and multiplication, we could kind of flip-flop everything around here. Uh, the big deal is that you need to add uh, two different terms together, and each one of those terms is um, taking the derivative of one of the factors along with just the originals 
uh, other factor. And we have to do that in all in all combinations, which just happen to be two combinations here since there's just two factors. Uh, and then lastly, for our uh, basic derivative rules, we've got the quotient rule. Okay, The quotient rule says if we want to take the derivative of um, a quotient, and again, I'm going to use A and B here, uh, what we get itself is a quotient. The denominator of that quotient is uh, the denominator that you start with squared. But then the numerator actually ends up being exactly what the product rule is with one exception. The plus sign becomes a minus sign. And so then the order of things does in fact matter here. Uh, we do have the ddx of the top, which is our a, um, times the bottom. Um, and then instead of the plus sign, we have minus, but then it's the top times the derivative of the bottom. Okay? And again, all of that's over just the bottom squared.